Now, I'm Brad Henry with Shelly Automation, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a point calibration in the Insight Vision Suite. So, point calibration is where you have points in the uh, real world, such as these that I've marked off on this uh, piece of grid paper, and you want to uh, calibrate them to points in the camera, so these dots. And you do this using the calibrate function. Now the calibrate function wants a list of XY coordinates in the camera and XY coordinates in the world, and it wants it in this specific order. So I'll show you a technique on how to, on how to do that. To get the pixel coordinates, you can use a vision tool or you can put crosses down. I'd recommend a, a vision tool, it's more accurate, but I'll show you the cross method. They're, they're very similar. So you use the cross function, and let me just open this up here, and you place the cross over the point. And now this gives you a structure, a cross structure. And you use the functions get x and get y to get the x, y coordinates out of the structure. And then you just make your list here. And for each of the cross points, you need to set the corresponding world coordinate. So for this point here, 0, 0, the world coordinate is 0, 0. And this is in inches, by the way. Now once you have all of this set up in the way that the cal function, calibrate function wants it, you enter it. And it'll give you this. And this is what everything else is based off of, all the other functions. So if you have a if you're trying to detect a blob, in this case, this one here, you use a, can use a detect blobs function. It will give you the coordinates in, in pixels. So that's these two cells here. Now you use a trans blobs to world and point it at the blob function, point at the blob function and point it at the calibration function. And it will give you the output in world coordinates, which in this case is about three and one not quite accurate because my, you know, my writing's a little off. This is how it looks. So you point out the calibration and you point out the blobs. And there you go. And you could, if you're not using blobs, you can do this for edges, OCR, pretty much whatever tool exists. Um, other times you just want to do a point. And so in this example, use the transpixel to world function and use point. Now if you bring that up, it asks you for where the point is. So in this case, I just pointed it to the detect blobs uh, function here. And the calibration function here, and it outputs it in world coordinates. So that's it. Hope you find this useful.